So one day working at the hotel, I picked up the phone and I heard this completely recognizable voice. Hello, this is Jonas Shriver. Can I talk to my son, Bobby? And I was like, whoa, hi, Mrs. Shriver. I'm sorry, Bobby just went out for a run. And then she said, well, I really need to speak to him. And I said, gee, Mrs. Shriver, you know, I'm not from the runners. I can't go chase after him. You know, can I take a message? So the night manager was sitting behind me having his dinner. And he, he said, please tell me you're not speaking to Mrs. Shriver in that manner. And I said, look, you worry about your manner. I'll worry about mine. So I went back to Mr. Shriver. I said, listen, I'll be happy to take a message. The moment he comes in from his run, I'll see him and I'll give him the message. She said, okay, I'm looking for Steve Ross's address. Okay, got it. She said, we want to send him a gift. I said, oh, how generous of you. She said, yes, he lent us a plane for the Special Olympics. I'm like, oh, the Special Olympics. I love the Special Olympics. And she said, how do you know about the Special Olympics? I said, well, you know, Barbara Streisand did this whole special funny girl to funny lady, and it was honoring the Special Olympics. And she said, oh, we love Barbara Streisand. And the manager is like, get off this, get down. And I'm like, shut up. So I'm like, okay, Mr. Shriver, um, whose address do you need? She said, I need Steve Ross's address. We want to send him a gift because he lent us a plane. I said, no problem. Got it. She said, yes, I want to send him a pen. I said, Mrs. Shriver, this guy lent you a plane and you want to send him a pen? And she said, well, what do you think I should send him? I said, I don't know, a couple of tanks of gas? And she said, she said, well, I'm not about to send him a couple of barrels of gas. I said, okay, well, don't you want to get the plane next year? And she said, you know what? Maybe I'll send him two pens. I said, you know, Mrs. Shriver, that sounds like a good idea. I'll have Bobby call you the moment he gets in. Now, as you can imagine, talking to President Kennedy's sister was a highlight. And I couldn't go home and tell, I couldn't wait to go home and tell my mom that I spoke to Eunice Shriver. And she said, what did she want? I said, well, she, some guy lent her a plane. So now she's going to send him a pen. And my mom said, well, I hope you've learned something, how to save your money. I said, yeah, I better get some friends who lend me their planes.